Overnight, Seattle fire crews rescued a woman who'd fallen off a boat and was missing for more than an hour in Lake Washington. Thankfully, she's a good swimmer and was able to yell for help. And while this rescue was a success, Seattle Fire is noticing a worrisome trend. King 5's Callie Greenberg joins us now live from Magnuson Park where that rescue happened last night. Callie, so far it has been a busy year for rescue crews. Good morning. A busy year for rescue crews. Also, a trend that's alarming to the Seattle Fire Department is in King County. So far this year, seven people have died uh, from drowning. Compared to this time last year, that number was only two people. So qu quite an increase. Now, as I mentioned, the fire department's concerned about this trend. And one thing they're attributing it to is that pools, many public pools are closed because of the pandemic. So inexperienced, maybe younger swimmers are jumping into things like lakes and then not realizing how cold it is and how choppy the water can be. Now let's take a video. Uh, let's look at video from the successful rescue that happened last night. While the Seattle Fire Department says this gave them a reason to smile, they posted on social media saying this case should serve as a reminder of just how important personal flotation devices are. The fire department said that the woman fell off of a roughly 23 foot boat and into the water without a life jacket. Now several crews were dispatched to look for her and after more than an hour of searching, someone finally heard a voice yelling for help. It turns out that this woman was a strong swimmer and she had been treading water the entire time. Anytime anybody uh, is going to uh, go swimming or otherwise be in and around the water, our recommendation is one that they learn how to swim. Um, and that might seem obvious, but it's common enough for folks to think that they can just hang on to an inner tube or just jump in for a moment next to the edge of a dock. Uh, swimming ability is paramount. Now, maybe not today with the rain falling down, but the beautiful weather that we've been seeing is uh, it's typical. The fire department says for people to want to jump in the water and cool off and they say for anywhere from two to 10 minutes, that is typically OK. But once they start hearing about people who have been emerged in the water for a longer period of time, that is when they start to get concerned. For example, Lake Washington, as Rich has been mentioning, is only in the 70 degrees right now, so uh, that just makes makes this uh, rescue from this woman yesterday just that much more remarkable that she is OK. Again, a reminder, if you are looking to jump in the water during one of these hot days, just make sure you're prepared. Back to you.